how you sleep. Good. Help, help, help. Is he asleep? He's still asleep? Yeah. Wow, you guys slept in. <laughs> Good job. Okay, I was able to get ready. Did you dream? Did you dream about? I don't remember. Hmm. Maybe you didn't dream. Good morning guys and we have a super fun video today because we're going to show you guys what's in my hospital bag. But a huge thanks to Clinique for sponsoring today's video. Years ago, my mom took me and my sisters to the Clinique counter and I got a gift with purchase. I've had this for over 15 years and I've kept all of my hair ties in it. So I've been a huge fan of Clinique for years. I'm excited to show you guys Clinique's Fresh Press Daily Booster. In seven days, it evens, it retexturizes, and it brightens your skin. This is perfect for summer with all of us being out in the sun. It's perfect for me right now because right after the baby. I'm probably not gonna be getting way spruced up every day, and so it'll be nice to like brighten my skin and have an item that I can just put in with my moisturizer. The Daily Booster has seven days of product in the vial. That way, the vitamin C stays at its optimal freshness. Check it out at Nordstrom's, and everything that I have worn today, I will make sure to have in the description down below, especially this lipstick. This is Melon Pop, and it's perfect for summer. Now, on to my hair, guys. All right, since I cut my hair, I think I figured out how I like to do it the best. I dried it last night, and then with a one inch curling iron, I do pieces every other way, and I just grab kind of randomly, and I just do like a little section and then the very top section, and then I'll tease it when I'm done. I think it looks pretty voluminous. <laughs> Don't you? Mm -hmm, I like it. Looks good. I'm getting there. Okay, what do Jack's you think, Jackson? Ready. Do you like it? He's like, okay, I'm done. Jack Calvin's still asleep. He's crazy. Um, why were you and mom um, sharing a noodle like that? In that picture? Yeah. You know what, Jackson? That huh? was one of the very first times that I knew I was in love with your mom. Or me and Calvin in it? No. It's it's from the movie Lady and the Tramp, where they accidentally share a noodle and they slurp it up and then they accidentally kiss, and so we wanted to do something like that because it was it was funny. The movie. And and me and mom. Don't you think mom and dad are funny? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> and guess what? Huh? One day you're gonna find someone that you're gonna fall in love with, and oh, you might share a noodle. Enough about that. Let's go eat. <laughs> You're not gonna date anyone for a long time. Not until you're 45. Just mama. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Welcome to the uh, portion of the video where we show you the things that we're going to be bringing to the hospital. <laughs> we are going to be doing what's in my hospital bag, guys. And in the wait, before we go too much further. I'm not gonna be able to sit cross-legged like this for a very long you can, time. You can move your legs. Can I be on my knees or Toes. can I like? Jared, yeah, you can't with your hips. Yeah. We're good. This okay, great. this is so much better. Um, I have done a what's my hospital bag before, and I've also done a what I actually used in my hospital bag. With Jared and I filming our birth, which a lot of people probably have their phones and cameras to take pictures and maybe film, I wanted Jared to do an actual video of what he is bringing as well. So to get started with, I have a little book bag that I am bringing, and in that, I will start with my items. I am bringing just one pair of socks. I don't need a whole ton, and if I do, I think sometimes the hospitals have. Or I can drive home and get have some. Something that I've loved having is a handkerchief because when you're in the middle of contractions, when you're crying, when you have snot, when you have tears, whatever, it's kind of nice to have like a little cloth rather than a tissue. So I have a handkerchief for me. That's definitely something I remember from the videos is having you Just dab hold. your eyes with your little handkerchief. My dad gave it to me, mm -hmm. so thanks dad. The next thing that I have is my first delivery with Jackson. It was like, I just listened to what the nurses said. I didn't really realize you couldn't like do what you want, <laughs> but I didn't wear anything. No bra, no underwear, no nothing. And then when, when I had Jackson, the nurse like ripped the top off. So I was like everywhere. And then the baby was on me which skin to skin is really important and I want that, but I still want to be 
a hair covered because I can always strap it down and lay the baby on me. Mm -hmm. So with Calvin, I really loved wearing a just a nursing bra under my gown. So I wear my nursing bra. It also makes a lot more editing for me. <laughs> yeah, that first edit. <laughs> Most of the time, a lot of people just wear use what the hospital have. They have mesh underwear that you can wear, dispose, throw away. I personally like to bring my own underwear because I just really like to be held in and I don't like how the mesh, I just don't feel secure. So it just seems I've like got it my goes little, so far. Uh, you know? This? No, I'm saying like <laughs> the mesh just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. Where this has some like wham, a little, some I don't rubbery know. to it. I, I like bringing my own. Yeah, totally. So I have just two pair and if I run out then I'll use the mesh underwear. But I like having that and most of the time when I'm just sitting in the bed, I'm not wearing clothes. Like I'm not wearing pants, I'm not wearing the gown, I'm wearing a tank top and my underwear because half the time I'm covered anyway with a towel or like a sheet, half the time nurses are coming in and which they do a belly massage is what they call it, but they're just like really working on your uterus, making sure there's no clots. Like doctors and nurses are in and out and I just don't, I just don't need to cover up. So I just like wearing a tank top and underwear most of the time while I'm in the hospital. Going home from the hospital, however, I am wearing a dress. This is from Pink Flush. It is new and you can nurse in it as well. You pull it down and you can nurse. So this is just a dress that I'm going to go home in. My robe! <laughs> I was wondering go where grab it, it was. Me. I obviously am bringing a robe <laughs> because you do get hot and cold. I brought a robe last time, but it was a silk robe and I was actually really cold. This is our robe, our Bali robe that we, my sister and I designed. So I am bringing this. As well. And be sure to stay tuned on bollybrand.com because new robes are going to be coming soon. They're a little different, but they are robes. Next, what I am bringing is nipple cream. The hospital has nipple cream for you, but I do not love the brand that they carry. This is Mother's Love nipple cream that I'm bringing. It's super important. I actually need to start using it now because it gets brutal. Um, and then these are Tender Care Hydro Gel uh, from Adela, and I am bringing these as well. I obviously have my insurance card and my wallet that I have right here. And then what I'm bringing for a baby is actually more than I've ever brought for a baby in the hospital. Usually, you just need a little onesie and a little hat for the baby, a little take home outfit. But I'm bringing a little bit more. We've never done like pictures in the hospital with mm -hmm. our babies. We have like a few like um, selfies that right. we've done, but we've never like taken our camera, we've filmed, but we've never taken our camera and done like a really, a really sweet, great picture. good yeah. picture in the hospital. And so that's why I'm bringing a little bit more than normal for the babies, because I want a few sweet pictures. Baby has a little brother outfit and a little hat that goes with it. And then Jackson and Calvin both have big brother shirts that they are going to be wearing. So I got these from Sugar Baby, and then Baby just has a plain white onesie that I'm bringing as well. And normally I don't bring swaddle blankets because the hospital has the blanket there for you. I didn't feel the need to pack stuff in the past, but I want a cute picture. So <laughs> I am bringing a few uh, swaddle blankets. These are from Copper and Pearl, just a brown one. This is my favorite, this saddle color and then this blue one as well. And then my sweet friend, she just came by and gave me a little gift and I'm like, I'm throwing that in my bag. Um, this says, you are loved little one and this is from She She Design. And then this is a swaddle blanket, but you can wrap them with it saying birthday. And then you also can wrap them for Christmas, Thanksgiving, it's like a little chart for them. Yeah. And this is from my friend, she owns the company, it's, um, Bat Kids on Instagram. With a so. Z. And then the last thing that I am bringing to the hospital is a hit or miss every time I've had a baby. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. And they are just little bottles of like shampoo, face wash, deodorant. I remember one time I didn't even use deodorant when I was in the hospital. So it really is just, well, you just don't. And it wasn't that stinky. You just don't <laughs> care. You don't have time energy. So sometimes I use that stuff, sometimes I don't. A little mascara is in this one. It's mascara and concealer. So sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. 
But that's what I have. That's what I have for my hospital bag. You are forgetting one very important thing. <laughs> I don't bring snacks because the hospital has plenty that I want or Jared can go grab stuff. But I've been obsessed with Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Roll suckers. Like mm -hmm. I eat probably four a day and I'm bringing these because I don't wanna. I'm gonna pack these right now. Yeah, do it. So the so hospital is going forget. to love us and the dentist is going yeah, to love us. Brutal. Okay, I'm putting everything in while you talk. Okay, perfect. Right here, this is my bag. This is the Nomadic Travel Pack and it's quickly becoming my favorite backpack because it allows you to oh store gosh. a lot of stuff really efficiently as well as like your laptop and your iPad. Um, and this is what I use for traveling like on one to three day trips. So I'm really liking that. I'm gonna put everything inside of here. But over here is just your standard camera equipment that we've been using. But just going over really quickly, this is the GoPro Hero 5. Then we have our standard vlogging camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is what we use every single day in our vlogs. So this is what we'll be having handheld when I'm vlogging with Ellie. For other angles, we have a couple different cameras. This is the Sony A6300. I love it for pictures. It's a really great camera for pictures. It's a mirrorless camera. And then we have another duplicate camera with just a different lens on it. Just in case, I've got a battery pack from Anchor, whether we need to charge our phones or anything like that. Another camera that I'm excited to be bringing is the drone. So we can get those other oh like close up aerial shots while we're in the hospital. No, he is kidding. I'm not gonna be bringing the drone, but it would be cool. <laughs> Put that away. Real quick, I wanna show you the camera we're filming on. So I'm gonna pop out the vlog camera and we're gonna do a little magic switcheroo. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, this is the camera that we're filming on right now. This is the Panasonic GH5. It's one of my favorite video cameras ever. And then we've got a microphone on top. So this is the camera that we're going to be using. And then in addition to that, we're gonna switch back. Ready, one, two, three. Okay. In addition to that, I have this really wide angle lens. So this is mostly for vlogging and the 12 to 50 millimeter lens is on there right now. So that's probably the lens that we're gonna be using during the birth vlog, and this is gonna be like vlogging lids. I have the iPad and the laptop here, just in case. I don't really anticipate us using this at all, but I'm gonna bring it just cause it fits in the back so nicely. And then the laptop, just in case we need to pull footage and put it on here as we're uh, going. We have two of these tripods, one that the camera's on right now, and then one for another camera. The last thing that I'm bringing is a little lotion so I can rub Ellie's feet while she's That's in the bed. That's the cutest thing. I had so. no idea he grabbed that. So that is what I have <laughs> for cutest. my hospital bag. Woohoo! Does that sound okay? That's awesome. We're ready to go. Kay. We're gonna pack this right now. 27 weeks. 37. It's okay, you're pregnant. Let's go! Huge thank you guys for watching today's video. We are ready to go. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.